Hey boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly, Real Illusion Forum, as well as AnimatorsForum.com. I'm going to do a, uh, hopefully a quick tutorial. This isn't really spectacular, but somebody was having a, uh, a question about generating some outfits, and so I thought this might help other people too. It's, it's not, you know, this isn't rocket science, but maybe it'll give you some ideas. Uh, this guy basically wants to, let me bring this over here, he wants to generate this outfit, okay? This is a superhero outfit, all right? And he can't find a Daz outfit that looks like this. Um, and, and that's because you have to understand the way some of these outfits are constructed. So what, what actually, what will work really well with this is a Daz item called uh, this here. It's called the Ultra... Hi, cat. I have a cat helping me now. The Ultra Bodysuit for Genesis 2. Uh, what this is, is this is a bodysuit that just has a ton of different material areas on it. And material areas are a way that a developer can uh, take a particular item of clothing and split it up into different options for materials so you can add different materials onto it. And in this particular case, it works really well with bodysuits and jumpsuits. So, so this is the particular one. Come on, cat. Try to stop helping me. My cat really thinks she's helping me now. So this particular one is what we're going to use. So we're coming here, we bring it in to, with Transformer into uh, Character Creator, of course. And you'll notice right away, if you click on it, look at all these material settings. They have all these, there's all these different uh, areas, options, if I, can, if I can see around my cat's tail here, uh, the legs. And they even have right and left sides. And it's almost, it's almost too much of an overkill, but it'll work for us. So... Uh, in any case, so we've got this here, and we go ahead and we'll uh, export the basic avatar. Uh, she's actually coming through a little bit here on the hands, but I'm not worried about that because we're actually going to make the hands transparent anyway. So, uh, so we're going to send the character to iClone. You've seen that before. We do that all the time. Brings the character in here. And we want to do it in iClone because iClone has... Um, the the uh, fill bucket tool and character creator doesn't i wish character creator did i'm not quite sure why that particular tool was left out but it just makes it a lot easier using that fill tool so again we're going to select the cat suit make sure the cat suit selected go to the material right here modify the materials and here's all our different material options i like to sort them by material name but it doesn't really matter too much because what's going to happen is we're going to select right on the body of the figure so the first thing we need to do, you can see, is she's got this neckline that, that's kind of uh, white there. So, uh, so we have that. We have the white already. So what we need to do is get some green. So we're going to select an area of the body, just down here somewhere. And uh, then we're going to change it to that green color. Now, you want to be real careful that you get the right color. Uh, because you're going to have a lot of different areas that you're going to color with that color, and unfortunately there's no easy way to link them. I can do it through Python, but I, I don't know if I can mass select them and edit them. Maybe you can. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But uh, let's try to get as close as possible to that green color to begin with. So we'll come down here to the green, and kind of, uh, if we had a color picker, it would be even better. But let's, let's say that that's close. So there's, there's our first color, all right? And, and what we're going to do now is just use... A, uh, a fill bucket to fill in the pieces that we want to fill and if we make a mistake we gonna slip back out of this and this is just going to be a uh, come on flipped out of this make sure we have the right paint so I'm selecting the green paint so I'm selecting that green and I'm going to just fill the areas around here what we're doing is we're just selecting the different material area options that are on this character and like I say, there's a ton of them. And there ought to be enough to, to get what this person wants. Now, it might not be perfect. You know, you might say, well, he wanted it to be just so. Sometimes, you know, you just have to accept what you get. If you, uh, if you can't get it exactly perfect the way you want it, then you might have to uh, do some heavier editing and stuff. But I think this one will come really close. Once again, I'm selecting that green. So I've got that green, and now with that fill... I'm just filling in with the green there. And I think if we bring this character over, you'll see it comes underneath her boobs and then it has kind of a, a cut across there. So we're going to come underneath here. And I think like that is fine. And that should be okay there. 
and turn around and uh, like I said there's a there's a ton of material options here and I don't want to waste too much of your time going through this but I want you to see the general idea how we can get this to work and hopefully we can do this in a, uh, a reasonable manner there and again select there and got that pretty much there and then fill that okay let's pretend that that's uh, what we want for the top part of it okay now uh, we also want that bigger midriff remember that she's got that bare midriff there okay so for here we're going to select the material underneath here and now we're going to go down to opacity and we're just going to lower the opacity all the way down so now we have that bare midriff there that area so this is a way that we can go ahead now with the paint bucket and then add the opacity to uh, to make the areas as if she's not wearing that stuff um, so again I'm not gonna not gonna do too much on this because I don't want to waste too much of your time here but hopefully you'll get the basic idea when we when we finish here that looks pretty good and then she her arms if you'll notice she they're opaque they're in the forearm and then the hand part of it so again with that opacity already selected, which we have, we can select it again. We go in here and we, you know, fill off all the rest of this area here. And uh, I'm not going to spend all the time because I think every particular finger is probably mapped. So I think you get the idea that that's, that that's going to do that. And then we also want to bring this green down a little further because it seems to me the green comes down a little further on this arm not too much further or maybe it's the opacity that comes up a little bit I have to play around with this and see exactly how this person who's who's doing this will have to figure out exactly what he wants to do but I think I think that'll uh, I think that'll give a general idea and then whoops <laughs> we made it a little too opaque no uh, let's go back here we're gonna do this anyway because we want to uh, then come down here and make this green and we'll have to see how far up we can go there's a white band at the top yeah that's a good white band so we don't want to go up too far because we want to leave that white belt that's there here trying to work relatively quickly because I don't want to bore you guys I think by now you probably got the idea on how to do this it's just a matter of how many zones are on your figure and uh, you just keep doing it and so that's basically the whole thing I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too much further on this uh, you're gonna go to green down the side the only thing he has in this particular character is they have white boots on here so you'd want to put some white boots on there you can even actually just grab some more boots uh, you could also apply some boot morphs to those feet so you could do that now my cat is telling me that she she caught me a mouse Yes, I hear you, Julie. You caught a mouse. Really good. I'm so glad. Oh, you got a mouse. I'm so glad. I was hungry for a mouse. I wanted that. Yes, I did. I wanted a mouse. I'm, I got to go, guys, because I got to eat a mouse. But anyway, I guess I think you can see that that's eventually we're going to end up with something that looks very similar to this uh, just by using different material zones. So hopefully that helps. And now, uh, folks, I got to eat a mouse.